Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I certainly hope you're having a super day. If you ever get so exasperated that you don't even know how to talk, well, that's kind of how I feel this morning. Okay, what this video is about is the uh, Yellowstone Park Super Volcano, which does exist. It's one of the biggest volcanoes on the face of this planet. One, one of seven or eight, anyway. Okay, for reference purposes, today is July 10th of 2017. And on the 6th of July, in the wee morning hours, along about, oh, it was about 12.30 in the morning, we had a 5.8 magnitude earthquake up in Lincoln, Montana, which is 100 miles as the crow flies, straight to the northwest of where I'm sitting here. And from where I'm sitting here in Livingston, Montana, the Yellowstone Caldera is, or the Yellowstone Volcano, that area there is about 80 miles or 100 miles from where I'm sitting. So I'm, I'm exactly right in the middle of, 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 of these two separate places. Okay, I on YouTube here, I see that there's all kinds of videos that the Yellowstone Park is going to blow its lid any time now. All this kind of hype. See, if this was a hype video, which it's not, I would probably get a lot of views. But since I, I pride myself on telling the truth, ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to be guilty of spreading paranoia, fear, chaos, and all that kind of stuff because there's too much of that kind of garbage. We live in a fear and a stress-oriented society. Okay, my point being is there is absolutely no scientific data that that, mag that, that 5.8 magnitude earthquake that happened up in Lincoln, Montana has anything to do with the, with the magma chamber, with the, you know, the Yellowstone Caldera, that big magma chamber. Absolutely nothing. Now, there's a fellow that works for the Montana Bureau of Mines and Geology, which I used to work there from 1990 to 1995. His name is Mike Stickney. Okay, he's the only seismologist that we have in the state of Montana, and he doesn't even believe that that earthquake that happened in, in, in Helena, Montana, well, Helena, Lincoln, has anything to do with the Yellowstone Caldera. It's just that doggone simple. No, we There is not enough scientific data. We don't have enough measuring equipment, surveillance equipment, and all that to predict exactly when the Yellowstone Park is going to blow its lid. Geologists know that thousands and thousands, if not millions of years ago, that park blew its lid, okay? And it's going to blow its lid again. But you cannot predict earthquakes and you cannot predict uh, volcanoes and stuff like that. So I just thought, and here it is, four or five days after that earthquake and I'm still here. As a matter of fact, the wife and I didn't even feel the earth, that earth trembling and shaking that, that particular night on the 6th of July when, when that uh, earthquake happened up there by Lincoln, Montana. But I see, like I say, there's all kinds of YouTube videos inciting paranoia and uh, fear and all that kind of stuff. It's all a bunch of nonsense. You just can't predict when that super volcano is going to erupt. It's going to erupt, but chances are it, it won't erupt in your lifetime, my lifetime, anybody's lifetime. As a matter of fact, when in recorded history has that park ever blown its lid? I'm going to repeat myself. When in recorded history, since mankind has been on the face of this planet, can anybody say a time period where the Yellowstone Park erupted? You can't. So there. That's all I've got to say. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Walk in peace. Don't be paranoid.